I'm going to show you a technique now using some cling film. So for this, the first thing I'm going to do is to get a piece of um, water card stock. This is Crafters Companion water card stock, but you could use the Sheena stamping card if you want a more smoother effect. And then with a wide brush and some water, I'm just going to colour wash over my card stock to get that nice and wet. And I'm just going to push this to one side. And then I'm going in with two colours. I've got marine and bud green. Again, personal choice. You can choose any colours you wish. And obviously with every colour you pick, you're going to get a totally different effect. Um, you'll get a totally different effect from the way you actually put your colours down on the mat as well. So, you know, you don't have to do them in straight lines. You could do them in zigzags. You could do them in bobbles. You will get a totally different effect each time. And that is the beauty of this. You can make some lovely backgrounds that look totally different every time you use them. I'm going to put a bit more green in there. And then my cardstock's nice and wet. And I'm just going to spritz a bit of water on here as well because I want a nice lot of water going on. And then I'm just going to press that down to get a nice good effect on there. And then I'm just getting some household cling film. a piece off and then I'm going to screw this all up because I want to have a nice um, bit of texture to this so I'm just screwed it all up into a ball we will then turn this over this has got some it's nice and wet now I'm just splodging on where I haven't got any and then we'll wipe up the rest of this and then while this is still wet work really quickly now I'm just getting my cling film, it's all screwed up and I'm just going to lay it on top of my paper. You can see already you're getting these mottled effects and then what you can do is where the, the water's working underneath with your aqua markers, just push your cling film around, doesn't matter how screwed up it looks and just screw it all up and then the best thing we need to do is to let that dry naturally. You cannot force dry this because obviously being cling film, if you use your heat gun, you're going to have all sorts of problems. So once you've squished it all around, we're just going to set that aside to dry. And then once it's dry, we'll come back and have a look and see what it looks like. I've left the cling film to dry now on top of the, um, the technique that we did with the aqua markers and the water. So I've left that for a good hour to dry. So I'm just going to peel it back to see the effect that we've got. So if you peel that back, there's nothing left on the cling film. Cling film's all dry and clean. So I could screw that up, keep that in my craft bag and use that again for another technique. And then this is the lovely cling filmed effect that you get on your watercolour cardstock using your Spectrum Wire Aqua Markers and some cling film which is a beautiful effect and every time you do it you're going to have a totally different look with different colours no two will ever be the same so a brilliant technique to use as a background so I'm Dawn from Dawn's Inspirations if you'd like to see some other techniques that you can use with your aqua markers pop over to my website dawnsinspirations.com and there's some little short videos there so you can get the most from your Spectrum Wire aqua markers. Bye bye for now.